two, three, one, go. So, uh, Nicholas, tell us about InstaBridge and then uh, maybe give us a demo. Sure. Um, so we're doing a company called InstaBridge. Uh, we're doing a crowdsourced free Wi-Fi network. So basically, uh, this is InstaBridge. It's an app that's running on Wi-Fi on uh, Android phones. Uh, and it's a complete replacement to the native Wi-Fi settings app on those phones. So I can use it just as normally I do. I mean, I can go in, I can see the nearby Wi-Fi networks. Um, and if I tap on a network, I can type in the password, you know, y just as I normally do. Um, but there's an extra twist to it, and that whenever I connect to a network, I can also choose to share it with the InstaBridge community. Um, and once I do that, it becomes available to everybody else that is running InstaBridge. So for example, we can go in here, and we can see uh, uh, any networks that are nearby. So here we see all the networks that are near me. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but you see this is 72 meters away. Here's one 60 meters away, another 79 meters away. So basically we have like 10 networks that are shared by our, by our users within a range <coughs> of 100 meters from where we are right now. Um, and we have a pretty active community. They're basically going around to you know, restaurants, cafes, and so on, and adding every single Wi-Fi they, they can. Um, we have about 1,300 power users today, um, and we have a couple of people that have added <laughs> almost 400 networks. So let's see if I can show you Stockholm here. Um, so here you see basically all the Wi-Fi that we have shared by our community of users in Stockholm. Um, so pretty much like on every single block here we have somebody sharing free Wi-Fi. Um, we have a couple of regions where we have extremely high density. Uh, one such region is, for example, the Netherlands and Amsterdam. So we can go in here and take a look. And let's see if this loads. Uh, and there we go. Ah, you see, there's pretty much free Wi-Fi everywhere. Um, I can go in here, show the last section of the app. So up here I can see uh, free Wi-Fi right here. So right now I'm, I'm not connected to any free Wi-Fi. I think I'm running the test version, <laughs> so that's why. Um, yeah, no, that's, How would you differentiate yourself from a device scape or a application that a cable company perhaps might roll out in, in their respective market? Yeah, um, I think th there's a couple of other companies that are doing free Wi-Fi apps. I, I think what sets InstaBridge apart is really the community of users. We have a very active community of users. Uh, they're giving a lot of feedback. I can go in with this button, I can see some statistics. You can send hearts and likes if you get connected to free Wi-Fi on InstaBridge. So, we have a really good kind of gamification going on. And I think we have the, the most active community of any Wi-Fi app. Um, and many of those other apps, they only pick up free open hotspots, right? And this is actually both free and open ones, uh, but also password protected ones. So people like sharing the guest network or a cafe restaurant that has a password. Um, and then second of all, I mean, as you mentioned, like there are a couple of other Wi-Fi networks out there around, right? Like there are people that have uh, install the Wi-Fi spots in a bunch of places. You have cable operators opening up uh, second SSIDs on their home routers. Um, and I, I think, I mean, the one that is most interesting with that is like the second SSID. Um, I think that, that, that that's an interesting solution. It does come with a couple of problems. Um, most of the time, if I'm sitting in a cafe or restaurant uh, where I'm out and about, I want to use the free Wi-Fi in that cafe or restaurant. Like, I don't want to use some random SSID shared two stories up. Um, and, you know, we, we are going pretty fast. Uh, we tripled the user base and the number of daily connections in the past three months. Um, so I think that, uh, yeah, obviously there are a lot of people that do see value in this. So tell me about your uh, location acquisition strategy. How are you going out and acquiring additional cafes and such? And then what's your member acquisition strategy? Yeah, uh, th the funny thing is that we have an easier time acquiring um, hotspots or acquiring people that go around and add hotspots for us. Than, than we have to have normal users almost. Um, in the beginning, we hired basically students and did it ourselves. We went to every single cafe and restaurant in a bunch of cities and just added all of the Wi-Fi. And uh, I think it's a pretty strong point for those to be here. I mean, if people are looking for Wi-Fi or like if you're looking for somewhere to go, um, it's pretty easy to sell to a cafe and say, hey, do you want to be in a list uh, where people can find you? And yeah, most of them will say yes, right? Um, but that is like a year ago where we did that manually, so to say. Uh, now we have such an active community of people that are adding the Wi-Fi spots for us. So we don't, don't really focus on that. Um, most of our users, they come from, you know, a mix of friends telling friends about the InstaBridge, uh, searching for free Wi-Fi, uh, and so on. So what's we, we, the business we, model? 
Uh, right now, it's, it's just a free app that we give out, uh, and uh, we are uh, increasing our user base. And over time, how do you expect to monetize the, the business? Yeah, um, we'll see exactly what we do. I mean, we're already receiving plenty of requests for partnerships from mobile operators, for example, um, or others. I can't really go into details what kind of partnerships there are, but you know, we are receiving quite a lot of interesting requests. Um, one I can mention is, you know, mobile operators, for example, there's many operators that are looking to offload the network, especially the MNOs. Um, but I think for, you know, for the next few months at least, we are just uh, focusing on increasing the value of the network and uh, increasing the number of users. Right. And what's your role at the company? Uh, I, I'm the founder, uh, co-founder and uh, CEO. And how many employees do you have today? We're seven people. Seven people? Yeah. Most of the programmers and developers? Yeah, I mean, we, we are a very, very product-focused company. Uh, you know, my, my title on uh, Twitter is uh, a Product Manager at Instabridge, Occasional CEO. Right. Um, I think that kind of reflects what I do, right? I mean, most of the time I sp spend you know, talking to our users, worrying about how can we make the product, how can we provide them more value. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, designers and the developers. Tell me about some of the toolkits you use or uh, software development uh, program you use to develop the application, and then how do you modify it for different um, devices and iOS um, um, uh, soft software systems. So, so first of all, first of all, right now we're only on Android, right? So okay. we're, we're an Android heavy shop, um, but I, th I think we are very good at producing great Android software. Um, we uh, we have quite a set of phones. I think we have thirty different test phones. Every time, every day, we do a new daily build that we test on different phones to make sure that it works with all the Wi-Fi quirks that exist out there. Right. Um, other than that, it's pretty much standard tools. You know, we host everything in the cloud, of course. Uh, we are very hard on uh, analytics. Uh, we use an analytics tool called Mixpanel, for example. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we really, really, we, we try to be as data-driven as possible. Like, how are people actually using it? You know, what causes people to love Instabridge and tell their friends about it. Um, yeah, but other than that, it's, it's the standard tools you use for Android development. Okay, one final question. What brought you to SUP46? Why are you located here? <laughs> I mean, it, it's an amazing uh, location. I mean, you get very inspired. There's a bunch of interesting people here. Um, we've also had, we have pl plenty of people here that we have moved to Sweden from other countries. Um, and it's very nice for them to come in and have a community of people to hang around with and not just sit in an office together with, you know, five other people. Yeah. So, right. Well, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you.